What's up guys, Vintage here. I've got a very special rig for you this week. This is one I liked so much that it's taking us out of our normal vintage comfort zone all the way back to 1950. You'll see why we absolutely had to cover this unique rig. So settle in, pop some popcorn. Based on current pricing, things are gonna get very interesting with this 1950 Dodge Power Wagon. Before we launch into today's example, if you're new to the channel, I'm Trey and this is Vintage 4 Wheel Auctions. We vet all the active truck and 4x4 category auctions on Bring a Trailer and highlight only the top tier vehicles from this segment. So if you're in the vintage SUV market, you're going to want to keep an eye on these auctions. With each video, our objective is to show you what to look for in a vintage SUV and what to avoid. Our hope is that this simple video format also encourages interaction with viewers on vehicle condition and any price points. Before we jump into this badass 1950 Dodge Power Wagon, we've started a new feature with the channel. If you live in the Denver metro area, and we definitely use this term loosely, send us an email at the address on the screen if you have a vintage rural drive you want featured on the channel. I look forward to your emails. This is going to be a lot of fun. What's up guys, this is gonna get fun here today. We're looking at a 1950 Dodge Power Wagon. This is the one to look at if you're looking to enter a truck into your local car show in the truck and four x four category. This one likely is gonna take home the prize. Let's get into it here. So this one sold recently, or excuse me, bid recently to 89,000 on Bring a Trailer. Um, based on what I'm seeing looking at uh, B2 Power Wagons, this one should have sold based on this 89,000 bid, but just wait. I mean, extensive work went into this. There's really only two comparables to look at. So pricing's not gonna take us very long on this truck. Instead, we're gonna spend most of our time focusing on the pictures. Uh, this thing is beautiful. So getting into the details, uh, this one was acquired by the owner in 2010 and refurbished between 2015 and 2022. The work shows we're going to see it in the pictures. Um, I love this color. It was repainted in this green and has black. Uh, the interior is beautiful too. This brown interior, you're going to see that in the pictures. They rewired the truck. They install, installed a oak bed floor. They resealed the four-speed manual transmission. Uh, like I said, a lot of work has gone into this. It's really going to show through. This one's in Oregon with a very known well-known and prominent seller, this 911R, a lot of good auctions from this seller. Uh, one of the things that I think is most prominent with uh, listings by 911R, you've heard me say before, really great pictures. You're gonna see that come through here. Uh, he's got two different locations, uh, I believe Portland, what we're gonna see here, and then Phoenix. The Portland photos are some of my favorites with this um, background of the trains and graffiti. Um, with this particular vehicle, with the uh, power wagon, I think it's going to look uh, especially good. Uh, current ownership, the cabin bed were removed from the frame, after which the paint was stripped. There were rust repairs. Uh, body sections were repainted in green. This one has the PTO-driven front winch. You're going to see that. Uh, it's hard to miss. Uh, turn signal indicator, side mirrors, bronze rear, rear pulley system, rear work light. Like I said, a lot of work's been done. You're gonna see the starting picture at the end of the auction. We'll kind of go in reverse here. I, I do just want you to see just how beautiful th this is, but I also want you to see where this thing started out. It's really impressive, the journey this power wagon's been on. I was curious about this. So it has the 16 inch five lug steel wheels. I think they look really good. They were powder coated during the refurbishment. Um, these do have these specialty, specialty tires. I think they also look very period specific. Uh, the military tires, they look good. We'll see close-ups of that in the pictures. Uh, it says the springs were re-arched during the refurbishment, replacement master cylinder. The funny, I don't know if it's funny, the very interesting thing with this uh, auction is there are literally 90 to 100 pictures of invoices with this truck. There are also roughly this, approximately the same amount of refurbishment actual photos. Um, we're not going to cover that here. Uh, that would be like a you know two hour video. Um, I will definitely put the link um, in the description. So if you want to look at further detail, please go ahead, head on over to Bring a Trailer. This thing is absolutely beautiful. 
So like I said, we always jump into the comments first. This one does have uh, a significant amount of comments. That's always reflective of the amount of interest in the car. This one, um, obviously for good reason, had um, a lot of strong interest in the community, the bring a trailer community. Um, you, know, you know, this one had a lot of comments on, I think it would have done better or solid if it was a different color. I actually disagree. A lot of these are in green. This one was on the high end for a B2 power wagon. Uh, there's a commenter here talking, kind of getting negative with things. That happens. Um, this one's saying 50,000. I'm going to show you why Zillicon, this person here, is totally off the mark. Um, we had the minimum for a comparable PW2 uh, or a B2 PW was around 60,000. I'm going to show you the high water mark was uh, almost 100,000. I don't know what they're talking about. We'll get into that. Um, this would have been a, a very good price, very truck, very nice truck still. Wonder what the reserve was. I'm thinking it was probably a hundred, uh, an even six figures for this power wagon. Um, yes, maybe look at my back seat, not surprised at RNW, RNM, uh, best reality show ever. <laughs> um, I've been holding it for the past 15 minutes. You had a lot of late stage bidding on this, um, letting it go down to the wire, that two minute mark and under, look at this. Awesome. Um, these are the kind of auctions. If you could catch them real time, you know, pop up the popcorn, sit down, relax and, uh, take in the action. These are a lot of fun to watch. Um, again, this is a very, uh, prominent seller. And with that, one of the things you're going to get, not only are you going to get the great uh, pictures, but you're going to get, you know, top notch communication from the seller. Any questions that um, are out there, they're going to have the answer to. So we're going to jump into the pictures here. So I know what you guys are looking for. You're looking for the pictures. We're going to jump right into it. There was really nothing that stood out in the comments. Again, this thing is exceptionally clean. It's had that almost seven-year refurbishment. Now, looking at this first picture, I mean, this just really stands out. I love the beautiful green paint. You had some other folks in the comments saying that maybe you know this prevented it from reaching top dollar. I highly disagree. Um, but again, that's all personal preference. This one's beautiful. Look at that front winch. Love the front view of this. Um, side view is really nice. Um, really highlights that beautiful uh, green exterior paint. All the power wagon features. Uh, the military tires. Great view here. Like this one too. I mean, I think it really stands out with this uh, uh, train car behind it. Uh, the industrial view in Portland, the kind of rainy uh, scenery looks really nice. Um, this one again, I mean, if you take this to uh, any local car show, enter this in to the truck category, um, you're going to take home a prize for something. I mean, this thing, one, just the uniqueness of it, the rarity, but then also the overall condition is really top notch. Again, beautiful here. Look at that rear bed and tailgate. Really exceptional condition. Power wagon with the uh, side mounted spare tire. Looks really cool with the military tires and the 16 inch wheels. Um, I always love like the power wagon logo. I mean, it still continues to the day. Uh, one of my neighbors has a 2023 uh, power Dodge Power Wagon uh, in green, not this color green, but same thing. I mean, th this kind of heritage reaches back uh, to you know 1950s and a little bit earlier. This one is nice here, nice nice view here. Um, again, kind of a more of a close up of the front with the industrial background. Really nice close up here, uh, kind of a zoom in. Um, one of the things that stands out to me is just just how um, you know, up and down that, uh, the front windshield is literally it's at like a 90 degree angle. You'll see that when we get to the interior pictures, um, really cool view. Love this picture here. This should be someone's screensaver. Um, just a classic vintage truck, you know, four wheel drive view of this Dodge power wagon. Love this one here. Again, just looking at the, the windshield here, it has the unique um, 
windshield wipers that come from the top down. This was kind of period specific, but I still think it's cool. I love the split window. Kind of reminds me of rear windows on some of the Volkswagens from the 50s uh, that I've always loved. Really cool look. Again, nice power wagon insignia um, on the hood. We're going to see how this opens up very unique later in the pictures. I thought this was really cool picture, very iconic with the Dodge uh, power wagon, the winch, and then, uh, you know, old glory flying in the background here. Really, really nice view. I love this oak um, bed here in the truck. They've done beautiful, beautiful work. Um, this is the type of quality that you would expect from this seller um, and the restorations that um, you see from these listings on Bring a Trailer. Beautiful, another you know, close-up view of the oak um, wood on the bed floor. Close-up of the military tires, 16-inch wheels. Um, really good addition to this power wagon. Love these interior interior uh, gauges and cluster and, um, you know, got the choke there. Uh, love that green paint. You can just see how beautiful that is. Um, just love the simplicity of these. I mean, it's obviously very period specific, but gas gauge, uh, power uh, amp reader for the battery as well. Um, Really nice job here with the interior. We're going to get, I think, the next series of pictures are the uh, brown interior. Uh, but you get kind of a glimpse here of uh, some of the coach work that was done and then also the, uh, the pedals. Just everything's very sturdy. Nice look. Three pedal view. Uh, love the brown. I think that it really was the right choice with the green exterior. Um, just very beautiful work and um, really top quality and caliber. Love this uh, view here. Just, you know, very, very beautiful. Um, the brown against uh, the green exterior. But what, one of the things you're going to love the most or that I love the most is, you know, just as we go through the interior, you'll see this level of detail carry throughout. Uh, what you're seeing here, uh, just the simplicity of the steering wheel. Um, love the kind of metal interior. Um, everything is very basic. You can see the roll up windows, um, looks very cool. Um, speedometer, um, just really nice. Of course, this is true mileage unknown. Um, we would expect that for, you know, roughly a 75 year old vehicle. Um, but you know, everything in the interior is in exceptional condition. Great view here from the cabin with the split front window. Um, also the sliding uh, driver side and uh, passenger side windows. Really cool, unique feature of the power wagon. Ah, jumping back. I, I went through this too quickly. This is one of the things that I called out. Just the level of detail here with this headliner in the brown leather, um, you know, color coordinated with the seating surface. Very unique how the engine bay opens. Um, everything's in beautiful condition. Again, this is all very show quality for this power wagon. Just a close-up view of the engine. This was a replacement engine. Um, they tried to maintain originality uh, where they could um, and then enhance. Um, of course, the, the oak inserts on the bed um, are a great upgrade. Uh, they refinished the entire chassis. I mean, you can see that here. The, car, the power wagon looks like new. Um, love the, the oak wood uh, bed surface. Just absolutely beautiful. And now this is just one picture of the invoices. Like I said, if you want to look at all the extensive work that was done on this power wagon, literally 100 pictures of invoices. I'm sure they have more. They have, you know, literally a binder full of receipts. Now, um, I wanted to end uh, with kind of the coolest part. This is how this, this came in. This was an original Oregon vehicle. Um, you know, this was in decent um, kind of barn find shape. It's amazing what the work that they've done um, really came together on this and beautiful condition. We're going to look at the pricing here. we got a couple more photos of this, um, but I think you'll see that this one was pretty in line with the marketplace. Nice shot here. Uh, they really did great work just to, you know, restore this uh, to former glory. Uh, there is the cab. Uh, just, you know, really cool work, what we've seen um, with the previous pictures. Now, like I said, from a pricing standpoint, this one 
closed out, bid went to 89,000. I think that was uh, in line with the marketplace. I think that would have been a fair sale, but I think seller was holding out for a six figure multiple. These are exceptionally rare though. So um, when we look at power wagons on Bring a Trailer and specifically at the B2 power wagon, there have only been two results um, in literally the past two years. Um, one was the 1950 that didn't sell. The other is beautiful red one that was sold for 61,000. To me, that's kind of the low watermark. We'll take a look at that. There's one that kind of slipped through the cracks um, from a filter standpoint. So literally there's, there's three results. We'll, we'll take a look at this. So from a low watermark, we have this 1950 Dodge Power Wagon sold for 61,000 in September of 2023 of this year. Another beautiful restoration. Um, I think this is a good price comparable. We'll kind of scroll through here, take a look at some of these pictures. Also features these industrial tire, or excuse me, uh, military tires. Um, really great work done on the interior. The repaint is top notch. Also has the oak wood um, bed inserts and bed flooring surface. This one was a uh, body off restoration. So really good work here. This is kind of the low water mark. And then I think, again, I think the seller was looking for, you know, that 100,000, that six figure uh, sale figure. They likely were looking to this benchmark, which was a 1950 that sold for 97,500 in May of this year. Um, this one, again, this was the high water mark. Um, also exceptionally beautiful condition, full restoration that you can see a lot of similarities. Uh, the military tires, um, you know, the split window in the front, very beautiful here. This one also underwent a full restoration refurbishment. Um, great, absolutely great condition. A lot of interest in this truck, obviously. Um, this one did not have the leather, interestingly, but a lot of, uh, a lot more originality with this one. Um, I think that would, that's what kind of pushed it closer to that six figure number, but nevertheless, these are both, you know, top notch examples. Um, I think 911R, the seller was looking for a hundred thousand. Um, I think this was the benchmark that they were comparing to. Um, but all in, you know, my guess is that at the 89,000 that it sold to, uh, the high bidder likely reached out and came to an agreement with 911R offline. That's very common with bring a trailer auctions that the high bidder is contact um, for kind of a second chance offer. So that's likely what happened with this, but really fun auction. Um, this is a first for the channel here. Um, really had a lot of fun looking at kind of the before and after on this one. This is absolutely beautiful. So what do you think about this restored 1950 Dodge Power Wagon? We'd love to hear your feedback on pricing and condition in the comments. Also, as I've said before, we are a new channel. If you like the video, make sure to like and subscribe. Thanks again for watching. See you next time for more vintage four-wheel drives.